Hey everybody, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Case 3. We just got out of our second day of court, and, well, it's safe to say that the facts of the case are pretty much turned on their head now, as we are questioning almost everything we thought we knew about what happened with the samurai uh, incident. So, after our day in court, we realize that uh, Cody Hackens, the kid who was uh, sneaking into the studio to get pictures of everything, took a photo showing Jack Hammer, apparently, in the Steel Samurai costume, not Will Powers, walking toward Studio 2, not Studio 1, where we thought the murder took place. Which pretty much confirms, or at the very least strongly suggests, that the party or parties responsible for the murder uh, were present at this meeting that was taking place uh, that we thought was an alibi. So let's see what we can uncover today and hopefully we'll be able to uncover the truth about what really happened on that fateful day. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Maya! So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Yeah, that's the other thing. Um, we did not really get a motive for who killed Jack Hammer yet. Um, assuming it's not Will Powers, which we're pretty sure it's not. Um, nor do we have a motive for Jack Hammer going and stealing the Steel Samurai costume and posing as Will Powers and walking towards Studio 2. So hopefully we can find out more about that. Wow, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So under that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. A little bit more lore about the uh, the new trial system in the U.S. or not Japan, I guess. I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah, we might want to catch you up on what's been uh, uncovered here. Yeah, but, but Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why would he go through the trouble of stealing it? That's what we have to find out. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear that the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Huh. Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was Studio 2, where that trailer is. What? Hmm, was Maya always this excitable? Yeah, I think so, Phoenix. Well, have you noticed anything that might help us? I can't see what's going on when Mia is here. So, no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go talk to WP? WP. Powers. Right. Alright, well, let's uh, do that. Go to the detention center. October 19th, de detention center visitor's room. Mr. Wright! You did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, can you not look like you're about to burst into tears? Wow, Nick, you must have really wowed him in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP, only one day left. Let's make it count. Yes. So there's not really anything I can do to help. Haha. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. Alright, let's ask uh, Will about all the different players here. Or at least some of them. Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? 
Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And what? Nothing. Forget it. I... I've only heard rumors anyhow. Uh-oh. Uh... Will, I think you might want to tell us. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director. Okay, that I can believe. But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call. Though I can't imagine him jumping. Yeah, me either. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the Earth. Oh. Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped talk taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Okay, that's pretty suspicious. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Yeah, we've been hearing these references to five years ago and how things were bad and then she came along and then it got better. That's, uh... A little convenient. I'm, I'm wondering if there's more to it than that. Five years ago. Well, I think that's about all we can talk to him about. Um, this seems to be the extent of it, so let's go to these studios. October 19th, Global Studios, Main Gates. We have Miss Old Bag waiting to greet us. The old windbag sure is quiet today. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick? I think her guard's down. Yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station. If we wanted. You eat, you die. True, she's alive. Alright, let's ask her about the exact same people. Um, I was wondering about Dee Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Sal Manella, the director? Sal? He's soft. Pushover does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? Maya, I don't... I'm not gonna answer that. That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Er, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. About Mr. Hammer. Arm! I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper! Poor old Hammer, you drag his star down from the sky and stop at it. Call him a criminal, a thief. I, 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 I won't forget this. Uh oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper. My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Powers' costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. Well, when people say something's impossible in these games, that's normally our cue to uh, think about how it is possible. Uh, let's go to the employee area first. Um, since Studio 2 is kind of in the spotlight today, I figured we could save that for last. I guess they're not filming today either. I did want to see them filming. Just one more time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess. This is where we found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there are any other clues lying around. 
Yeah! No, no, no. No touching. Well, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. Didn't mean? I almost had a heart attack. Hey, I guess I can be a little dramatique at times. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatique, indeed. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, I'm here to examine the point on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces thereof. Alright, so what does Gumshoe have to say? So you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills. How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precincts. But I have the capabilities to make a cursor examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to those sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Steak plate added to the court record. Found in the employee area. On it are traces of sleeping powder. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I'd buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Let's talk to him about Mr. Edgeworth. How is Edgeworth doing, anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed this paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa. Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups? Bottles? Say, whatever happened with that empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim of Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, it sounds like Powers... The one that who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Sleeping pill bottle added to the court record. Found on the table in the employee area. Bears Jack Hammer's fingerprints. Alright, well, I think that's all we can really do. So let's go out to, or into, the dressing room. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... Well, what? Why? But WP's innocent. Like, that's a little suspicious. Why are you suddenly so in a hurry to clean up his room? Yes, I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... This week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! And on that note, we get the, uh... Chipper investigation music. I was wondering if you could, if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah. Miss Vasquez, that producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? An 
accident five years ago. Yes, in Studio 2. That trailer there was part of the film set. Well, that answers that question. Could you tell us what happened? Sorry, I don't think I can. They really don't want us to talk about it. Well, that's a shame. What do you mean, the last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No! No! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids' shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Why aren't they going to make kids' shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How could they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true! If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure! Nick, say something! Um, yeah. Or wait, that's Phoenix. Um, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Let's uh, show her Cody's notebook. And this is... A fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be canceled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay, but what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Let's re-ask about five years ago. Can you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died. And it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. I see. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks. We'll try asking her. If she'll talk. Alright, well, let's do just that. We have to go back through here anyway. What? You're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag sh doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer! She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance? Maya, you would survive quite handily in 2020. Let's ask her about five years ago. Um... I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Uh-oh. Who told? Who'd you hear that from? I, uh... Huh? Nichols! The Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. That assistant we talked to. Uh, oh, right. Anyway, we heard about the, the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whippersnappers! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? No, no, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? 
Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammerstool powers this costume. Hmm. We do have proof. I'm sorry, Miss Oldbag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume with this. Here's my proof. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills with Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. What does that prove? I I'm sure Old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's your proof that he used those pills on Powers? Um, that is a good question. Um, that I don't actually know. I guess this, because they were eating the steaks and there's a thing on the plate. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Oh yeah, that's right. She was around for the rehearsal, so... I guess lunch she wasn't there for, though. Well, yes, so? This is the plate that he used to eat that steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. This old bag? Ooh, this is different music. Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. This old bag? You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. I wonder if that would be the Yakuza in the original game. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. This old bag. Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Old Bag. Here, take this. A photograph. Oh my. Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on the top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell into the flower box fence. But how did you get this? Also, how, why is he holding like a tennis racket too? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old photo shows an accident involving Jack Hammer. Alright. Well, I think we are good to go there. So let's go this direction. We haven't been here yet. October 19th, Studio One entrance. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio Two? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him. Like the director? Or the producer? Hmm. Well, if that's the case, I'm also curious about who the person was who came outside and apparently fought with him, the one that Cody saw. Uh, so we can't go to Studio One, so the only other place we can visit is Studio Two. Oh, hey Vasquez. Hey Nick, it's Miss Vasquez. Hello? H-E-L-L-O! H-E-L-L-O! Mamaya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the clouds. That's all she had to say, apparently. Well, um, hang on. Let's talk to her about everything. Um, excuse me, Mr. Hammer came here on the day of the murder and... Shh. 
Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh, dear. Um, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You... You did it! Nick, she did it! She's the killer! My fade blood speaks to me! I know it! I know it! Oh, dear. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Manella? If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trailer? By ourselves. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, there's not much more we could do here. I'm wondering... What would happen if we showed her this? Although in real life, I don't know if I would want to do this. Usually when there's a little thumbnail like that, that means that uh, this is something that uh, you need to show them. So I think this was necessary. She's not even looking. Where? Well, what? Where did you get that? I, well... Old bag. The old... She means the security lady, Miss Old Bag, Nick. Right. Anyway. Miss Vasquez. You hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. The... Huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more. Inside the trailer. Nick. She went inside the trailer. I wonder if this is the, um... The spot where that guy fell uh, five years ago. That definitely looked a little out of place earlier. Hmm. You came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids' shows for petty change. Hmm. So I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh? I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But, but, you were the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think, what would it be if it wasn't an accident? You don't mean... No. No way! You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. Well, where's your proof? Can you prove it? Hmm. Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But, but the security lady said it was an accident. Oh. Well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. Yeah, we've kind of noticed. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands. She did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. What? This is valuable evidence. Boys! Whoa! Hey, guys. 
Uh, um... Who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? What? The trial ends tomorrow? How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt, no? Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys, a race away. No! Hold it right there! I heard everything, pal! D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now! Hmm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow, then. In court. I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I was really scared. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Aww. Okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run to each other again soon. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. To be continued. I have to admit, I feel like Phoenix should have learned his lesson about like parading evidence in front of the uh, the culprit after what happened with Red White, um, or at the very least made copies of that photograph before running to her and showing it to her. I mean, that would at least help come up with a backup plan. But at any rate, we have finished day three of investigation, and next time we are going to move on to the final day where we're going to um, engage with Miss Vasquez in the showdown at court. So until then, thank you all so much for watching. If you all enjoyed yourselves, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell to get notified of the next episode. And until next time, thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.